Good morning, afternoon, and evening, guys. We're back another random tier list. Today we are diving back into Hearthstone. The new expansion for this game came out last week. Planning on recording a couple more Hearthstone videos, and I just never really got around to it. So here we are. Today we're going to be ranking 20. Yeah, there's 10 classes times 2, 20. Good math there. Uh, hero portraits. So in this game, you can you know switch up depending on what class you play. You'll have a, a selection of portraits you can play as. Basically, the the hero you're playing as or the skin of the hero you're playing as. Um, so these will each be on here twice, or each hero will be on here twice, but two different outfits, two different portraits of them. If you played Hearthstone, you probably know all this. The specific ones we're ranking today are referred to as the Tier 1 and Tier 2 skins. These are basically the skins that you get as rewards for doing certain things inside the game. These are not available, as far as I know, in the store. These are something that you earn through uh, achievements and, and that kind of thing. So. Yeah, let's go ahead and dive on in, guys. If you appreciate tier list, if you have an idea for a video or anything of the like, I'd love to hear it from you guys down in the description below. Or no, I do this comments. And we're back. I've sorted out my brain, and we are ready to get started. First of all, we have Illidan's... Okay, I don't know what any of these skins are called. I know who the characters are, but I don't know what the skins are. Uh, this Illidan skin is absolutely fantastic. Um, I don't think I have it yet. I haven't played much Demon Hunter. In fact, does anybody play Demon Hunter? Is that a thing that people still play? Because I never see any on ladder. I don't know. Um, yeah, this is a really cool Demon Hunter skin. We have a mage skin here uh, for Jaina. This one I think is A tier. She looks really powerful in the skin. You can tell she's holding a big staff, which I believe is a legendary staff um, of some note. I'm not... I don't remember the name off the top of my head, though. This Anduin skin, I'm going to go ahead and put into C tier. Um, I think it's his expression that's throwing me off. Um, Anduin has been a character that's gone through a lot of different stuff, even in like the last World of Warcraft expansion. Um, and him going back to like being a goody-goody priest, it kind of looks like in this picture. I don't know. It just doesn't... Not going back, because these have been around for a couple years, but yeah, C tier for me. This Anduin one, I think, is even worse. I'm not sure why some of these pictures are not the full pictures, but, uh, yeah, this one is also not that great. I need a new Priest skin, and unfortunately, I'm not a big fan of the Tier 1 or 2 ones. This Jane is pretty cool. Um, very, very similar design. Probably just a tad down, because she doesn't have that Legendary Staff. She has a different one here. Um, though, definitely, if any lore sleuths are... Is that how you pronounce that word? Sleuth? Sleuth. Uh, lore experts are out there. Let me know if any of these weapons um, are really iconic. Um, I know some of them are, but I, I could be missing something here. Next up we have Druid. Um, I like this Druid skin. It's good. It's better than the regular one. Would definitely rock this one. I think it's B tier. It's right on in line there with that Jaina one. Uh, this Illidan skin I would agree with as well. Um, not quite as good as the red one up top, but still very good. Um, similar in that B tier. B tier seems to be, you know, above average, good looking skins, vibrant colors, all that stuff. And then A and S are just going to be a step higher. We have our first Warlock skin for Gul'dan. Um, I do like this one. Where's the other Gul'dan skin? I, oh, this one. Yeah, I, I'd say B tier. I'd say B tier. Uh, we have Garrosh of Might. Um, I actually know the name of this one because he's wearing the uh, Might Warrior set. Uh, A tier. I think it looks pretty cool. I actually have that one. I don't have all these. Um, I think the Garrosh of Wrath looks even better, though. Um, I was a little annoyed when I bought Might because then they offered me Wrath, and I was like, well, I would rather have that. But I do want to get some different skins for some other classes. Uh, Giant... Giant Stalker, is that what this armor is called for Hunter? Very cool. Very cool to see Rexar in that armor. This Warlock skin is probably better than this one. I wish I had a full art image of this one, though, uh, because I, I feel like it would look better than that. We have the Paladin skin. Why can't I not think of the Paladin here? Uther. Uther. Yeah. So we have Uther here, uh, wearing the Judgment set for Paladins. Absolutely awesome set of armor. I'm not a huge fan of his uh, stance. I actually, the Judgment set that he's wearing is actually one of my favorite sets in all of World of Warcraft, Warcraft, Hearthstone, uh, you know, etc. Um, I'm just not a big fan of the stance he's in. If he had been in a cooler, more strength 
like imposing stance, I, I think he'd be S or A's here. But I'll, I'll put it B. Valyria with a dagger here. Kind of just normal rogue one. I'm not overly hyped about that one. Uh, even though I love Hunter, Rexar with the Dragon Stalker. I've never liked the Dragon Stalker armor. Um, yeah, that, that might be an unpopular opinion. I love the design, but the, the combination of colors that it uses with the purple, I just don't think looks very good with stuff. You have to go like full out with that armor um, to make it look good. And yeah, I, I definitely like the Giant Stalker for Rexar better. This Tyrion skin is... Um, I think they're all pretty much wearing, I, I keep saying that, I think they're all pretty much, oh my god, they're called tier 1 and tier 2 skins because they're wearing the World of Warcraft armor tier 1 and tier 2 sets. Wait, no they're not, this is tier 6. I don't know. Uh, ignore that. Yeah, uh, Druid, A. Uh, this Thrall Shaman skin, I, I'd say C tier, a lot going on here. Um, difficult to focus on what's happening. I, I do understand what's going on in the photo, but as a little small war, uh, hero portrait, it's a little hard to see. I'm a bigger fan of this shaman. I like this one. I love these shoulders. I actually wear these on my hunter sometimes because you can do that in World of Warcraft. Um, yeah, fantastic shoulders. Uther. This is a better paladin skin, um, even though I do like this armor better. This is a much stronger looking stance. Love that. And then this Valyria one, I do think, is going to be A tier for this other rogue skin. I love the green mixing in with the... Ooh, what is this armor called? Death Mantle? I believe it's called Death Mantle. Death Mantle, another one of my favorite armor sets. Some great, great armor sets represented here in, this, uh, in these portraits. And we see a lot of them are going to be above average. My top three are up here. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section. All that good stuff. Thank you guys for watching. This has been the guy who makes random tier lists. And I'm signing out.